Now, he's in the news again, isn't he? Revelations from Matt Hancock's pandemic diaries continue to make headlines ahead of their publication tomorrow. Well, ITV News entertainment reporter Rishi Davda is here. Um, obviously, he paints himself in a good light, as obviously politicians always do when they, when they write, their, write their books. Um, and he says he broke the rules because he fell in love. That's what he's seeing. Yes, yes. Yeah. So pandemic Diaries is, is out tomorrow. It was serialised by the Mail over the weekend. It's bound to be controversial. And he says he broke coronavirus guidelines because he fell in love, calling it an affaire de coeur, which is French for affair of the heart. Yes. But he's asked for forgiveness for breaking the guidelines, but not for how he handled the pandemic, specifically saying, I want forgiveness for the mistake I made, the failure of leadership at the end of the pandemic when I fell in love with Gina and I broke the guidance that I'd signed off on. He also went on to say that the toughest conversation or the worst conversation he'd ever have to have was with his ex-wife, telling her about the affair before it was made public. We also mm -hmm. found out a little bit more about that slightly odd scene in Chequers, the PM's official country residence, when they were filming his resignation statement. Very, do you know his wife has been so... Um... Well, dignified, I guess. She's not said anything, but she must be really upset. We do forget about that. And we, and we shouldn't. You don't need to get me that book for Christmas if you don't want to. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Um, he spoke about care homes and COVID as well, and that's really, really not gone down well. Yeah, this is a really sensitive topic for a lot of families, especially those who had relatives in care homes. And, and Mr Hancock has said a small proportion of cases were caused by his decision to discharge patients from hospital without testing. Um, right. Specifically saying the vast majority of infections were brought in from the wider community, mainly by staff. And he said that back in May 2021, citing data from the UK Health Security Agency. Now, mm -hmm. as you can imagine, that has angered a lot of mm -hmm. care home staff who said, well, hang on a second, a second, a lot of the cases in 2020 came into care homes because of the decision that Mr Hancock made to discharge patients from hospitals without testing them. Um, and I just think it's going to be one where the book's going to give a lot of details of what, about what, what happened during the pandemic, and it was obviously a very controversial time, so it feels like every revelation he reveals will come with a whole host of, of, of critics. And, and we should say that we understand some of the royalties are going to be going to charity, so we should actually uh, state that as well. Can we talk about Julia Roberts and George Clooney, please? Can we please? She paid tribute to the great man, didn't she? Yeah, tribute is, is one word. It was, a, it was an interesting fashion choice, but she uh, joined her friend George to celebrate so him much. at the annual Kennedy Center Honours in Washington, D.C. He was among several honorees for their Lifetime Achievement Award. They've worked together so many times. Uh, the Ocean Eleven trilogy, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. She did get changed once going right. inside. It must be said into something a little bit less George-centric. <laughs> um, you two were also honoured with a Lifetime Achievement Award, but for George, this is what he had to say about picking up the honour. Oh, he's so happy with Amal, it's beautiful. Yeah. And I liked his little medal as well, it was gorgeous. Now, look, Frank Skinner had a bit of a, an awkward exchange with a member of the royal family, did he not? Yeah, he had a really awkward encounter with the Countess of Wessex. And so Frank Skinner was performing at the Royal Variety performance, mm -hmm. which will air on the 20th of December, okay. singing Three Lions alongside David Baddiel. But okay. he said when he arrived for rehearsal, he was feeling really unwell. Oh. And it hurt him to sing. Still went ahead, mm -hmm. sung his heart out, and then after the performance, usually exchanged pleasantries with whichever member of the royal family is there, and he was hoping for some well done, congratulations. That wasn't to be the case. Uh, Sophie Wessex told him she didn't think he was very good. <gasps> Here's what yes. happened. And she says, um, well, don't give up your day job. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not. This is not how the royal walk thing works. I said, well, it was, uh, was it that bad? And she said, well, you know, I could tell, you know, it's not what you do. I said, well, we've done, we've done a bit of life <laughs> stuff, you know, stand up and stuff. But she's sticking with it. She oh. said, yeah, but you haven't done anywhere the size of this. I said, look, I did the Palladium last <laughs> Sunday. And I thought, she looked at me like, you're not supposed to be arguing. He still sounds a bit poorly. That was so funny. That was so funny. It obviously upset him a bit, though. It's not the feedback he was hoping not for. Not the feedback. He was like, oh, you brave soldier. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Very, very funny. Thank you, Rishi. As always, see you real soon. Thank you.